this is it. This is the lot complete. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. TNG Star Trek Next Generation. Six and seven I bought off eBay. The first one they want twenty dollars for the movie and they want twenty dollars in the shipping, so I paid twenty forty, another forty, eighty bucks there. And these ones I found locally thrifting, so I paid six bucks each. So five, then fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. So I did all right. So eighty, nine, about a hundred bucks I spent. So that's why I paid up on the shipping to get the six and seven. If you're buying up eBay, you'll have to pay up, and some of them are like I seen like number four a lot for like thirty bucks. So four to five are around thirty bucks, and I guess one to three is around thirty bucks as well. So a pretty good deal. Whole set's about two hundred fifty bucks. If you're buying it complete with shipping, you're looking around two hundred bucks for the set, and maybe another hundred bucks on shipping. So let's try to open one of these up, and they all have the symbol. And this one has collectible packing on it. Uh, and none of these have the backing on it. Just that one. So, these two were off eBay, so I had to take what I can and get off eBay. Hopefully I'll get some good stuff off uh, eBay as well on movies. I plan to do a lot more TV shows probably after Christmas. So I'll turn it this way. Show you how this one opens up. Which episode was the holodeck? Where they get stuck on the holodeck. I like that one. They're trying to... The characters were trying to get out onto the ship. I'll have to see which episode that was. I remember a few of them, but I watched it a lot. Um, that's how they close up. Number one is a yellow. Number two is kind of a yellow TNG. Number three is kind of a yellowish one as well. So they might have different colors for the sets. A green one. Kind of blue green one. Purple one. Another purple one. And this one opens up this way. And this one has the advertising on the back. Collect all seven. Yep, I got all seven. So hopefully Christmas time I could pick up uh, Voyager maybe. Or I'll pick up MASH. So I'll keep eye out. The complete set, half of it was from eBay, more than half of it on e on thrifting, and last half of it on eBay. These two are eBay, and so more than half I picked up thrifting. Thrifting, 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 and thrifting. So I got really lucky because I have to pay at least 20 bucks on the shipping just to get one of them off of eBay into my collection or I'd have to buy the whole thing in bulk so I did not want to wait too long so I took what I can sometimes something cheaper might come up down the line and it might be 10 bucks on the shipping not 20 bucks on the shipping but I want to get into some other stuff other TV shows around Christmas time and uh, New Year so 
Look for a couple more TV shows coming in. Try to get a couple more Star Trek stuff coming in. And a couple other TV shows are pretty expensive that I want to pick up next year. So I'll do that and next year I'll probably get back into some more NES. And see from there maybe get back into some more CDs next year. So a bit of everything next year. See how the winter goes for arrivals. Thanks for watching. So it's now complete. Value 250 bucks with uh, added shipping from what I see on eBay it's about 250 bucks so to have a complete 127 pretty good I saved at least 100 bucks this way paid up on these two so I paid 40 bucks I paid 40 bucks so 40 it's almost 100 bucks there so if I probably only found like one and one or two locally then I'd probably buy the whole thing on eBay and not put it all together because it'd be 40, 40, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, and that would be a lot to put together by itself. Rather buy it in bulk. Thanks for watching.